Blistering words on the Senate floor. Senator John McCain says it is unconscionable. Now, the visibly angry senator expressing outrage over the multi million dollar bonuses approved for Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac execs. That Fannie and Freddie Mac are synonymous with mismanagement, waste, outright corruption, and fraud, and their federal regulator has the audacity to approve $12. million in executive bonuses to people who make $900,000 per year. This body should be ashamed if we let this happen. It seems to me the least we can do is cancel these bonuses, make sure it doesn't happen, and maybe ask for some qualified, experienced, talented Americans to come in and take over this agency. And the first guy that I think ought to go is the guy that approved of these mortgages, who I understand is, I mean, the, the, that approved of these payouts, Mr. Edward J. DeMarco. And then there's more. Today, Freddie Mac asked for $6 billion in additional aid. Taxpayers have already spent almost $170 billion to rescue Fannie and Freddie. Ben Weil from Congressional Quarterly joins us. Nice to see you, Ben. And um, tell me, um, why does the person who this De um, DeMarco think that these bonuses should be paid out? Well, hi, Greta. Thanks for having me here. Um, you know, Edward DeMarco says the way to get talented executives uh, running Fannie and Freddie is to give generous compensation. Uh, they're tasked with maintaining and conserving the taxpayers' dollars, some $5 trillion in mortgage assets. And the way to do that, he says, is to, is to attract uh, talented folks with, with high compensation packages. Well, it, did he mention anything about the fact that uh, this last quarter uh, they lost $6 billion and uh, the same quarter a year ago was only $4.1 billion, so there's a downward trend in terms of how successful they are? That's a good point. Um, I haven't heard him say that, really. Uh, the thing to remember is that these losses that Fannie and Freddie are, are coming up with are largely bad loans that were made before the financial crisis back in 2008. And so we might be seeing losses from, from Freddie Mac for some time to come. I take it nobody's making these executives keep these jobs, right? I mean, they're, they're, if they're so talented, they could go elsewhere, right? That's right. Um, there's nothing to hold them. Um, but just, I'm just curious, do you have any clue how much the executives make without these bonuses, what their salary range is? Uh, you know, I think Senator McCain said in the range of $900,000, so clearly that's, that's a lot of money, and I think it's no surprise that you found lawmakers on both sides of the aisle uh, expressing concern with these compensation packages. You had Senator John McCain calling for DeMarco's dismissal today. Uh, Senator Tim Johnson, the Democrat who heads the Senate Banking Committee, announced that he was going to have a hearing on this issue and would bring Mr. DeMarco as soon as possible, he said. All right, now he is, DeMarco is the, is the regulator over Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac, right? That's right. Okay, so is he, the one, do, is, is he the one who actually authorizes the bonuses, or is it Congress? I mean, who would be the party that would actually authorize? I know that he supports them and thinks it's a good idea and it's a good way to attract talent, but uh, is he the one who green lights it? Yeah, in the end, uh, Mr. DeMarco has to sign off on this. The, the Federal Housing Finance Agency is an independent agency that Congress created back in 2008. And they didn't intend, Congress didn't intend for this agency to still be around three years on. It was supposed to be a temporary thing. But Congress and the administration have not really figured a way to, uh, to, to replace Fannie and Freddie or to figure out what to do next. And so this temporary conservatorship uh, continues to this day. Does he have any sort of reflection on that he might have a 10-year? Here you have a situation. They've lost $2 billion more this year than they did last year in just a quarter, from $6 billion to $4 billion was the difference. Um, they are so unsuccessful that they need another bailout of $6 billion, and they already make incomes in the range of $900,000. It's not like usually we reward those who are extraordinarily successful or are great visionaries, but these aren't the types of statistics that in a sort of a competitive marketplace uh, you know, would, would warrant you know, someone wanting to reward people with a bonus. Yeah. You know, I think Mr. DeMarco says, uh, he says that they've cut down on the, the, the total compensation that executives used to get before Fannie and Freddie uh, were bailed out. Uh, he also ha has made it clear that these executives who are leaving, they weren't at the helm uh, when Fannie and Freddie collapsed, when the housing market collapsed and Fannie and Freddie needed to be seized. So, 
they shouldn't get all the blame, I think. I know it's not a question whether they get all the blame. Is that you know they should get credit if they've done something extraordinary? But if they're asking for more money in a bailout and they did worse than a year ago, it's sort of hard to understand. And they're getting paid nine hundred thousand, and no one sort of had tied them up and handcuffed them and made them take the jobs. It's really hard to understand that. Right. No, I, I hear you exactly. I, I'm curious. How does DeMarco? Uh, who does he answer to, and who, how did he get his job? Well, he he doesn't really answer to anybody in a sense. Uh, he had his job in uh, he was he was brought on in 2008 when the agency was established and became acting director uh, under President Obama in 2009. Um, but he's been criticized uh, strongly by Democrats actually for not doing enough to use Fannie's and Freddie's huge uh, market power to try to boost the housing market and try to shake things up there. He's tried to be He's tried to conserve the taxpayer dollars, but obviously this is one instance where lawmakers don't think he's doing a good enough job. I, th I think probably everybody might feel that way as well. Ben, thank you. Thanks so much for having me. Here's